Val is back. Hey, Val. What's happening, Val? Let's go ahead and remove everything with my two-time course carbide safety bit. Also, Val wanted her nails taken down significantly today because she just sometimes likes to go down and start fresh and let them grow out again. So let's flip her over, not literally, just her fingernails, and clean out from underneath with my long skinny bit. Then I'm going to flip her back over. And I'm going to push her cuticles back all the way to her shoulders if I can because I want as much space as possible for new product to come. Then we will prep with my fine grit sanding man, one per person. We're going to get some fresh CND retention liquid, some fresh CND sheer intense pink powder, my number 12 Kolinsky. Tap, tap, hoo, to get that perfect little bead. The magic that happens on the tip of this brush, guys, I can't even describe it. Let's put the bead in place. We're going to press it down flush to the cuticle, clean down the sidewall, straight down to the free edge. If there's any extra product, just wipe it off on your towel and move on with your happy life. New file as always, one file per person. So here is the inspiration picture, and thank you to that nail tech for inspiring the world. We're going to use my new Easy Pink, my new nude number three from Mamita, my snowflake, and we're going to use a little bit of black at the end too for the dots in the center of the flowers. So we are going to do two generous coats of Easy Pink, okay? We're going to do two coats of this nude number three, which is my new favorite nude so no more Paloma, no more Mademoiselle. I don't think so, at least. I'm not making any promises I can't keep, though, guys, all right? So don't mark my word. Mademoiselle, I think, will be back in stock soon, and I probably will get some of her. So I'm going to use my art brush, and I'm going to do these flowers as close as I can to the inspo pick because I do... Sometimes I'm like, hey, can I just do my own flowers? But I really like the way these flowers were set on the nail so we're going to do like teardrop petals okay and i like the way the petals are separated from each other and i know sometimes it's very hard to keep petals separated from each other so if you're a novice or new to the game and you want to do one petal at a time and cure it and then do the next petal do that until you can get comfortable with doing these petals that really don't touch each other. If they happen to run into one another, just take a brush down in the center of the petal and clean out some of that extra paint, okay? These didn't come out perfect, but they came out really, really pretty. I love the color combination. And that little pop of black in the center of the flowers, it just sends me, guys. Here's the final look. 